All right, <clears throat> we are back. I think it's day two. Bro, okay, it's two o'clock, look. I started at 2 a.m. Because check it out, if you start at 2 a.m. or 5 a.m. as long as you're right next to a TV, the fishing program, you can get fishing points like three times. 2 a.m. gives you time to find the TV by at least 5 a.m. Uh, the fishing show will be on, Exposure Survival. And uh, you can get those fishing points three times. If you catch it in the morning, the first day on the 9th, and then it'll be on later that night, a second time, and you will get points for watching it. And then we'll come on like in a couple of days again, the same fishing show. You get the same points. You get fishing points three times. So I started at 2 a.m. It's now 2.30 p.m. on the 10th. So I've been alive for, uh, what, 36 hours? <laughs> I still have these damn cigarettes on me. Look, put these in here, okay? You're not a smoker. I think my character needs to eat something. Or me, I guess this is me. Also, I need to work out, like, every day, because in real life, I work out about five days a week, and I do, like, 100 push-ups, 100 crunches, 100 squats, and I do uh, cardio. So I'm trying to get up to doing 200 push-ups. Conditioning yourself to do, like, a lot of stuff when you used to, like, previously not be able to do anything. Like, I could barely do five push-ups before, like, on the reel. And now I can do 100 a day. I wonder if I would still work out every day if the apocalypse happened. Okay, well, let's get these reps in. Okay, so I had a little workout, and now we're going to sit here, and I'm going <laughs> to wait for... Uh, the six o'clock show to come on. I think fishing and then foraging and farming, I think. And in one of those days, there's also a carpentry day with survival exposure. You get a lot of XP from these shows. The elements are against it. What the hell are they watching? Oh yeah, this is a commercial for some, like... I wonder if it's a... The element, the forgotten element. I think that's a reference to the fifth element, by the way. Which was a great movie from the 90s. Like, look at my farming, it's going up, yes. I get so many points. I spend my first, like, eight days watching TV and reading books, but this is a me run, and we're trying to survive, so I'm gonna have to go out and get things, and, uh, you know, to survive, since it's just me and this gnome now. It's nighttime, and I don't think it's a smart idea to go outside at night. I've been warned about that a lot. What do you think, gnome? I talk to myself all the time. I am not sure what my supplies are like, but I'm not sure I can... Okay, I have some canned food. I've got some cereal. I've got a cupcake. That's good. What's in my fridge? Ah! Whoa. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, um. Can you stop screaming? Oh my god, we're gonna get injured. She also climbed out this window and I... Don't know how she didn't get hurt on the glass. That was some sort of... What? Yeah, how did she not get hurt? Pick up your glasses. Uh, I actually am short-sighted in real life, and I do wear reading glasses. And these are reading glasses. So, I don't know how I didn't hurt my hand climbing through that window. I hurt my thigh, but that was from... You know, I should really pick up this broken glass, huh? I feel like some sort of disaster is going to come with all the... Oh, come on! Oh, now I hurt my hand. You know what? God damn it. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of luck that I have in real life. You know, I was thinking about it, and I was like, I should have taken the unlucky trait, because I am pretty unlucky. Likes jazz music. This isn't true, by the way. These music tastes are true. I didn't choose these. This is a mod I have. But, like... It says, I don't like reggae music. I don't really listen to reggae music, but I don't hate it. And I actually, okay, it's not that I don't like jazz. It's just that I don't really listen to it. Like, I like classical music, which was one of the options on here. And I was hoping I'd get that, but whatever. One time I got, like, some metal music. Pretty relatable. I actually like metal. Anyway, and you know what? My favorite classical composer is Shostakovich. And he was just, like, made metal. I swear. <laughs> Can you remove this glass? All right, you know what? We're not just gonna, we're just gonna like not walk over there where, you know, there's glass all over the place. Here comes the, uh, why are all my clothes wet? 
Here comes the, like, temptation, by the way, of wanting a cigarette. Because that, you know, she's like a nervous wreck. I can install the disc? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> what is this shit? Okay. All right, it's time for bed. That's what it is. Good night, gnome. Hmm. Oh, nothing crawls in here while I sleep, but... Oh, well. I do occasionally wake up in the middle of the night, so this is actually factual as well. You know, I should really do something about these windows. I'm just not sure if I want to base up here. What do you think, gnome? Eh. Oh, I have way more food than I thought. Oh, I do have a griddle pen. Okay. Can I make food with it? Yeah, let's... Oh, wait. No, this is a microwave. I don't have a stove. Um... Just eat the cupcake for now, I guess. Better than nothing. We'll deal with that later. I'm gonna have, like, exercise fatigue soon, so I'm not gonna be running around outside. So that's in the middle of the night. Is that an RV? Oh, yeah. The thing is, is... You guys, I don't drive in real life, so I can't drive in the game. It's not a trait, but, like, the thing is, is I don't, I don't drive. I don't know how to drive. So cars are off limits. So anyway, uh... What's in here? I'm gonna go check this place out. Oh, I can make food in there. 20 hours, yes. Okay, I can make my food in there. Okay, one problem solved. <laughs> Glad she thinks it's funny. You hear the constant heartbeat? That's the agoraphobia from being outside. Okay, I can make a stir fry. Oh, you should really stop stepping on that glass. I don't like bacon, so I'm not gonna eat bacon. So, ew, mayonnaise, gross. Can you, like, dump that out? Yeah, pour that out. That's gross. We don't want that in the house. No mayonnaise. Ew, empty mayonnaise bottle. You know what? Let's go throw this outside. We don't want anything mayonnaise-related in the house. And by the way, this is also accurate. I hate mayonnaise. So anyway, this is basically just can an extremely neurotic person survive the apocalypse? And the answer is absolutely no. Like, no. Like, I would die 100% in the apocalypse. I'm gonna make a corn can be- no, that sounds nasty. I don't want to make that. I'm gonna make salmon. I need to cook- I'm, I'm gonna cook my salmon in the microwave. It'll be fine. I- I- okay. It is the apocalypse. Sacrifices do have to be made, but just to be realistic, I would not do this in real life because this is gross. Okay. This is not accurate. I cannot do this in real life. Absolutely not. That's- that's me hallucinating, just imagining myself doing stuff like that. That didn't really happen. Oh, it's burning. Okay. okay, so something really funny happened in real life. Like, I had the dishwasher going, right? I put something in there that's, like, not dishwasher safe, I don't think. Something plastic. And I smelled something burning while I was cooking the fish in the game. And I was like, that's weird hallucination. Am I smelling, like, the fish from the game? What am I smelling? And then I realized, no, that's real and I went in the kitchen and checked and there was just smoke coming out of the dishwasher because it was on like heated dry so the fan is on in my kitchen right now anyway so the thing is is I almost burnt down the house <sighs> right so uh I had to air out my house so I had to stop recording and then you know attend to the real world so anyway we're back so I guess that's a really good example of um <clears throat> Why I should have taken the unlucky trait, because I am actually extremely unlucky in the real world, so... Oh! Jesus! Wait. Was that zombie real? Wait. Oh. No. I... Okay. So anyway. Shut up and just get the damn salmon in there. All right, let's go. Now we gotta go outside and cook it. This is so inconvenient. And rest assured, I would definitely 100% be complaining about this shit in the real apocalypse. Can you cool it with the desperate screaming? You're gonna attract a bunch of zombies to us while we try to cook, okay? Turn the fucking barbecue on. Shut the fuck up, dude. I hear something. That's not a hallucination. Look, man. Trying to cook. I'm just trying to make food. All right. Back up. 
I think it heard me screaming, honestly. Okay, I'll get to that when I'm actually hungry. I need to go to the firehouse and get weapons. And then I have to go to the bookstore to get books. And the grocery store to get food. And it just feels like none of those things are going to actually happen. It just feels like I'm going to die doing at least one of them. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to go to the fire station. Let's go. So, ew, mayonnaise, gross, off my property. I hope there's no, like, zombies out here, like, I'm not in the mood to deal with zombies is what I'm basically saying. You know, it's a zombie survival game, but that doesn't mean I want to deal with them. Of course, she's a fucking nervous wreck. You know, I really did pick the right traits, though. Very accurate. You need to shut the fuck up with the screaming. <gasps> Ooh, a plushie. Don't mind if I do. But look, that alarm that went off probably helped me out a lot, to be honest. Like all the zombies here, left. Please let me get lucky, please. I would... I'm gonna take these, though. I'm gonna need these. Take the boots right off that zombie, that's right. I'm not sure I would be taking shoes off dead bodies, but you know what? It's the apocalypse, so I hear a zombie. I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. My sneaking went up. I don't know how my sneaking went up when they clearly spotted me. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Oh no, that's not good. This is bad. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, so... Remember how I thought it was safe? It, it wasn't. It's not safe. It was a false sense of security. <laughs> oh no. Well, there you have it. I survived for two days and, um, six hours. Well, it's good to know I would die the second I left the sanctuary of my, uh, my gamer den. You know? That was quite a horde. I probably should have just left.